And what do we got here? Oh, wow. Sabre. Or Sabre. Japan. These long blade knives, usually the blade is loose, and this one isn't. And usually they're broken. This one looks complete. If it's been sharpened, they did a good job. That's actually in really good shape. It wouldn't take much at all to clean that one up. It's not my favorite style, but it's nice to see one in this good a shape. This is a lower quality pocket knife. It has steel liners rather than brass, and the bolsters are also steel. For comparison, this higher end vintage pocket knife has brass liners and nickel silver bolsters. See how a magnet won't stick? I started out with a 240 grit belt in my 1x30 sander. I found that the steel was too hard. The 240 grit belt was having a hard time getting below the scratches and pitting. I had to switch to a brand new 120 grit belt. Here's the blade after that 120 grit belt. Sabre might have cheaped out on the liners and bolsters, but they use some high quality steel for the blade. Here's the blade sanded all the way down to 1000 grit. I have new respect for these old Sabre knives. Both Mad Styles and Big Vic sent me these scrubby wheels to try out. I used them on the bolsters. They did a decent job. The blade channel was already clean, so I just applied some oil. I also oiled the pivot. Chuck and I polished all the metal with flits. This Sabre 620 Trapper was sent to me by Jack's widow Lori. I don't know if Jack cleaned this knife up some before he died, or he found it in this condition. I had fun making it shiny again. Thanks to Jack, I have a new appreciation for these Japanese-made Sabre pocket knives. I am impressed by the quality of the steel blade. It has been an honor sharing some of Jack's collection with my viewers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. These sanding belt cleaning sticks usually work great. I've had this one for about four or five years and it's developed a problem. Check this out. The ends 
are oozing some kind of goo. I mean, it's it's like a tar. See it? Both ends. When I was using it recently, I noticed it was doing more harm to the belts than good. In fact, it ruined a couple belts. This goo got embedded in the grit. I had to throw them out. I think I got this at Harbor Freight. So what I did, I went on Amazon and I got a new one. I don't know if it's going to be any better. Doesn't really say where it was made. But I remember my dad had one of these in his shop. Had to be for 25 years. And it never did that. Now I'm in a basement shop. So the temperature is pretty constant. There's no sunlight down here. I don't store it near anything hot and it, it's not stored near any kind of chemicals so I, I don't know has this happened to anybody else let me know